Hey there, art enthusiasts! Today, I want to introduce you to the incredible artist Edward Burne Jones. Born in 1833, this British painter and designer was part of a group called the Pre Raphaelite Brotherhood. They were a bunch of talented folks, including Dante Gabriel Rossetti, John Millais, and William Holman Hunt. Now, Burne Jones started off heavily influenced by Rossetti, but he quickly developed his own distinctive style. In 1877, he showcased eight mesmerizing oil paintings at the Grosvenor Gallery, a newly established rival to the Royal Academy. One of these captivating pieces was The Beguiling of Merlin. And you know what happened? The timing was just right, and Burne Jones became the shining star of the blooming aesthetic movement. But here's what sets Burne Jones apart, he didn't just stick to painting. He teamed up with his buddy William Morris and they founded a company called Morris, Marshall, Faulkner and Company. Together, they designed all sorts of decorative arts. Imagine ceramic tiles, beautiful jewelry, intricate tapestries, and stunning mosaics. They truly crafted magnificence. However, one of Burne Jones's most enduring legacies comes from his work as a stained glass window designer. During the 19th century, the art of stained glass was making a comeback, and Burne Jones contributed some of the most breathtaking designs ever seen. You can still find his incredible creations in churches all around the United Kingdom, and there are even some in the United States and Australia. So next time you step foot in a church, make sure to take a moment and appreciate the timeless beauty of Edward Burne Jones's stained glass windows. This guy had a knack for bringing art into every aspect of life. 